YouTube family, what is up? Welcome to the channel, welcome to the hair experience. You're gonna say, Curtis, your microphone sucks, your lighting sucks, your background sucks, all the above, and I totally agree. You can put it in the comments below, but please give me that thumbs up, like a thumbs up. Um, mm -mm. It's because I'm moving, and I had my prop, I had to get my prop. Anyways, we're moving yet again, new house, hopefully we're done. Long story short, um, ebook, Guys, ebook will teach you how to do this. Video ebook will teach you as well if you don't like to read. It also supports the channel. So if you want to support the channel, buy the ebook, please. Um, MyHairExperience.com. Also, the starter kits are on hold until we move. We'll be in the new house on the 10th. I'll be able to reship uh, uh, starter kits out on the 11th, so just stand by. Sorry. Um, what else you got? Oh yeah, we're still a week and a half, two weeks away from getting those units out too. So anyways, I wanted to... I have some samples, 0.05 and 0.03 poly um, units here, and I wanted to kind of go over some of this stuff with you guys so you understand the difference. Oh yeah, subscribe, super important to me. I'm sorry, I'm sidetracked today. I've been packing and all that other stuff and painting and, and random stuff like that. So exciting, um, yes, uh, pain in the butt, yes. So I'm gonna talk about an 05 poly and an 03 poly. Okay, um, they're a big difference, and it, guys, understand that this stuff. Okay, this is an 05. This is an 03. All right, this stuff is hand laid by a human being. Okay, and the 05 is they say 0.04 to 06. The poly 03 is what they say is 02 to 04. So one system might show up; it might be thicker than the other. I mean, these guys have got it down pat, but. You get what I'm saying. It's still hand laid like a paper mache almost, but not the paper, just the mache. No, that's not right. That that's what totally wasn't right at all. It's laid like a uh, resin. Okay, that sounds that's better analogy. Like a resin, like you're laying fiberglass with no fiber. So you're laying the resin. <clears throat> On an O5, which is this unit, this is this material is thick. And you're going to think, Curtis, 0.02 millimeters, how much difference could it be? Well, if you've got one that's on the bottom of the spectrum of the 0.03, which would be 0.02, and then you got another one that's 0.06, that's 0.04 millimeters. I mean, that's a millimeter is measurable. You can actually see a millimeter. So and it's not like a nanometer or a hectagonometer. I don't even know what that word is. I'm just messing with you guys now. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's much thicker and much denser. Um, what I've always worn when I've worn a poly is the 0.03, all right? This is a V-loop setup. Um, gets about 16 weeks out of it is what I get out of one. Now, it's not to say to quote that. I get anywhere actually between 12 and 16 weeks. 16 is the longest I've ever got. 12 is the minimum I've ever got. So, and guys, I'm pretty rough. I live in Florida. Sun's out, gun's out all day long. Yes, sir. That was a joke. I'm a little delirious, probably because I'm tired. All right. The big difference is, is you can not, not N-O-T, K-N-O-T, you can not a .05 system, okay? A lot of times what they'll do is they will V-loop, um, okay? The V-loop through the poly in the front, and then they will not the back, okay? They will not the back, um, which is good, but guys, always remember, the, the knot is better than the V-loop for rigidity and security and things like that. But always remember that the system is only as strong as its weakest link. It's just that simple. So you could have a mono, which is like freaking burlap sack. And you could have a poly in the front, but the poly's going to wear out first. So now all you got is a bunch of trash that's really thick and beautiful in the back. If you guys get what I'm saying, it's only as strong as its weakest link. So the difference between the two, I mean, the hair is going to be the same. All right. The hair is going to be exactly the same that comes inside a 0.05 or a 0.03. A 0.05 is going to last you much, much longer. You'll probably get four months out of a 0.05 if you treat the hair right and if you don't overwash it and abuse it. Um, what else? The hairlines are going to be somewhat the same in the way that they... I'm sweating. In the way that they appear, but it's a possibility and probably a high probability on a 0.05 system that you're gonna get a lip on the edge that's gonna to wanna to catch dirt, debris, and the glue on that edge. And you're gonna see that. 
That's why I've always rocked a .03. Um, that's why I've always been picky with that because I want it to lay like it just belongs there and it's part of my head. So um, hopefully that makes sense. Guys, I'm not a fan of the .05. Um, and, and honestly, if, if one person handed you one of them and said, hey, this is a .03 poly, you would go, oh, that's cool. That seems pretty rigid. And then they were to come and say the same thing to you with another one, okay? Unless you had held one of them previous, you know, a few minutes earlier, an hour earlier, you would go, yeah, that's cool, thanks. You wouldn't even know the difference. But if you're holding them side by side together like this, you are going to feel a difference, all right? So if you, if you okay, perfect example. Exposed hairline, 0.03. Unexposed hairline, 0.05, okay? 0.05 is gonna be more rigid. You're gonna be able to tape it and not worry about tearing it as easily and things like that. But if you're gonna do an unexposed hairline anyways, you might as well just do a lace. So that's what makes sense to me because you're gonna get better results out of a lace over the long term than you will a poly. That's what I got today, guys. I hope that information helps, okay? 0.05 to 0.03, just get the 0.03. Just shooting straight. Um, we're still about two weeks out, guys, so uh, I can't pre-ship anything. I just, I can't do it because, trust me, I want to. I, I want to make sales, and I am grateful for you guys. Trust me, I am seriously grateful for you guys following me through this journey. But, but it has to be perfect, and launch day has to be perfect. I have to have my boxes right, the tissue paper. I mean, everything that's going to come in this thing is going to be nice, and it has to be perfect. That's what I got today, guys. Holla at your boy if you need something. Hit that subscribe thing and hit that uh, smash. Like everybody says, smash that like button. Smash it. Anyways, see you in a couple days, guys. Thanks.